This is going to be an air knot. For an air knot, we're actually going to place a drain in place. So this is our drain for today. Okay. So you're actually going to start. You're going to go around the drain. And then you're going to pull it, the drain out of place. You're actually going to use your fingers and tie a one-handed knot or a two-handed. And you can see that I'm actually leaving just a little bit of space right there so it's not tight up against the skin. And then we're going to put our drain back in place. And again, we're just going to tie around here. Now, before I proceed, I'm actually going to cut off the needle so that I don't injure myself. And we're going to cross it underneath and tie just a few more ties, a few more knots here. Got a really short end. Let's see if I can get one more. Okay, and we're going to leave a little bit of a tail on the end. And you can see this drain is not actually going to move. It's tied into the patient's body. But there's a little bit of space right here in case the patient, um, the body has some inflammation or some sort of a reaction and it swells. It won't be so tight up against the patient that it hurts. Now when you're cutting this out, remember you have a few knots here, so you want to cut right close to the edge of the knot. We got one more over here. And one more over here. There you go.